Rosh Hashiva would say, Great Rosh Hashiva, Chas Shalom, Chas Moach, Chas Shalom, Ketzat, and Nidu Yabesh, Lo, Lo, Lo. So the dry cleaning would be there. One of the, in 1982, I was convinced to come to, for one class, a former professor of philosophy from Johns Hopkins University who began to become a, a rabbi, a Sita kid, David Gottlieb Shlita, now one of the, come to, one of the Rosh Hashivas of Orsamea, and has touched thousands of lives on the front lines. Then the third was a receptacle for Torah and mitzvahs and good deeds, and a vessel for a pure soul in the performance of mitzvahs. And to realize you know, the life of such a person that what attracts us in our daily living, what distracts us from focus on Torah, is heaven gone, completely worthless. The meteorites in the Chibra Tshuva, Bechol HaEspeit Ya'ora Leiv Ha'am Yizbomenu Al Chesrona, the Espeit in praising the Nifta. Each of us has to think of where we fall short. If I should want to say him, will they, and I examine our deeds, we have zero b'tshuva. Ve'enu alamodis, we're not crying, mourning for death. Kihu chayim l'tzadik. For the tzadik, passing through this world is life. Kol shigayin achachamim, yishayim mechayeyem uvisosom yeor mishnosom. The achachamim, while they're in this world, are like sleepwalkers. And when they move to the next world, then, then they're as if those who awake from sleep. The Menorah Samoor writes, Kesha Chocham Niftar, Amsasik Bekvur Samesi Behespeit, Goymul Chesed La Atzmo. He's doing Chesed to himself. No matter Chesed Shel Sel Mesi will provide him. In addition to the Chesed he does to the Niftar and to their relatives. To his relatives. It serves to break the live person's pride and to be fearful of, of the transgression. Each one of us thinks that there will come a time, as I'll say, Mishle says, we think there will come a time when it will be our turn. When a Chacham leaves the world, everyone should regard himself as if he's a member of the Chacham's family. Every Jew is chayim in hesped for the for the p'tira of a Chacham. in the when a chokhan leaves the world, everyone, the whole nation, is responsible 
We must be Shlema, Ushmuel Mais, by Yisru the Low, Kol Yisroi. The Nach says Shmuel died, and the whole of Yisroi was must be. Obviously, it doesn't mean that everyone is going to have an audience of people who is going to dash in the public, but it means everyone can say over what he knows, say over what he's heard, say over what he's remembered, and participate in a hespeit kali, a hespeit of kalos. That's why I'm standing here. The Meshachach Marais. By Yiv Kumei Yisrael, it's Moshe. Da ki yesh bechi umisbeit. Bechi yesh gamal oilu shenisraf beish. In lev evet lo yimas kamayim biyev. Biyev. Bechi is for anyone who dies. It could even be Rachman, the son of a child, a child with no life, with no history, with no actions. The loss. Omnam mispe, who is orus, midarke hames, umidosa, and an espe, for a person who is an adult, who lived a life. All of us who hear of it, hear the espe, can be misorder from his ways, from his midos, upulos of his lasso. Vizesha Amar mispeid al Shadaim. This is that pasuk. Mispeid al Shadaim. Perish al Mashpia Vizuloso. Kamo Hashad. Shemapik o Mashpia al Haven. Just as the breast feeds the child, so a Mashpia in the generation is called Hashad. Mashpia are called Shadaim. Vizel mispo the sorrow. When the Amram Vidu came to make a Hespeid on sorrow, Shekath Asta told that the Hirbus of Hasadim Lachemim Ad Kimi Sarai Nidia Sor. She was such a Mashpia in the world. We'll hear more about Abu Mabinu's Hesper to Sor. She was a Mashpia in the world that he came to more to, to eulogize her, to speak her praise, because the people should know what they had lost and what they need to try to imitate. We know that uh, that when the Torah talks about children, sometimes it means you're talmidim. We should reflect. Yibum, for a man who had no children, is to give his neshama an opportunity to reach limbs. Had no children, so he has to go through Yibum, says the Ramban and others, so that perhaps a child will be born to take his place. But if he has children, there is no Yibum. That means whatever you would have done for him, the children do. It's the responsibility of the children to work for the shleimus of the nefesh of the nifter. And all who can count themselves as his talmidim have that same responsibility to know that what you are doing is working for the shleimus of the nifter. Indeed, as the shleimus said Sunday night in the, the Spain in Orsamea, that Savor Rebbe Kiv Eger, Rebbe Kiv Eger, writes to his children. He says, I want you to know, I'm now in all of my MS. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. So I'm depending upon you. You are my salvation. You are my help. It's you who can make a difference for me. This is Rebbe Kiv Eger talking. If he could write that he needs help, who doesn't need help? Who doesn't need help? And the Shaina said and the other said Sunday night, for all that Rav Mendel gave to all of his Talmudian, now he needs us. And now what we can do, whatever addition in a voda, to have him in mind and say, I wouldn't want to sleep at 10.30, but I'll go to sleep at 10.40. I'll put another 10 minutes. Because Rav Mendel would have done it. Because Rav Mendel would have wanted it. Because Rav Mendel would benefit from it. We all know the problem of the Pesach. Tim Zechar Amalek, Lo Tishka. Wipe out Zechar Amalek, and don't forget. So if I'm wiping out the Zechar, how am I not, not, not forgetting? Why must I not forget? I heard from a Baruch HaTron many years ago, the front of the Rochel. Pesach says, Zechar Tzadik the Rochel, the shame for showing your cup. The Zechar Tzadik is a blessing, and the name of the wicked should rot, will rot. So he said, look at the difference. A tzaddik leaves behind a zecher. And a zecher continues to bring bracha into the world. A Russia doesn't leave behind a zecher. A Russia leaves behind a name. Just a name, a reputation. And even that will rot. 
the side leaves behind the zecher, and that zecher produces effects in the world. The mitzvah of Tircha Zecher Amalek is to wipe out the leftovers, the realities in the world that were connected to Amalek. What is the halacha of Tircha Zecher Amalek? Destroy houses, kill animals, destroy property. There should be nothing left of Amalek in the world that can have a in the world. And that's precisely what you have with the tzaddik. He leaves behind the reality. 